Okay, this is to demonstrate how to use AutoCAD Electrical to do a swap update block. I have a symbol right here. What I'm going to do is modify this symbol and have it update in the drawing that is in the project. As you can see, this is the drawing. The name of the symbol is HCR1 underscore MT, M2T-001. I have that one open in my library. This is it right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this to where uh, I'm going to create a circle. .01. So I've got this circle right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify it to where it's now placed in this location. We'll do a move for this and place it right here. I'm also going to do a move copy. And what we're going to do is we're also going to place it right in here too. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, these uh, attributes here. I'm going to move them to this other end of the quadrant right here. And same thing for this. I'm going to move this one to the quadrant right here. So what we've done is we've modified the uh, symbol. We've added these little circles right here for our terminations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this now. Once I've saved it, I'm going to go back to my drawing that I have this symbol in it, which is located right here. And now I can do a swap update block. In the swap update block, I want to update the block and substitute a newer version for selected block from the library say OK and I select the symbol it will find out what the symbol name is look for it in the JIC 125 library which it found it and now I can either update a project to a bunch of drawings or since we only have the one active drawing in the project I'll do active drawing and at that point you can see that it supplies the circles and the terminations where they need to be so what we did is we actually modified the block and then updated it in the project drawing so that it shows those modifications of the symbol. So this is a way of doing a swap update block uh, for your project so that it shows those new updates.